greatest podcast I've ever seen in my life. Or heard. I mean, hey, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> I just, this is a podcast? I thought I was just hearing voices in my head again. Oh, that's very relieving. Hello, and welcome to Attack of the Awesome Interviews. I'm Mike, a.k.a. Scooter, and I'm your host for this interview. Along with me is my fellow host, Susie. Hey, hey. Are you ready for our first guest, Susie? I sure am. Our first guest is the man behind the glasses. He's known for his character's humor and, of course, the glasses. Adored by hundreds on the Internet, he is the man, the legend, the one and only, that guy with the glasses, Doug Walker! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh... Oh my god, are we doing the interview today? Oh god, alright, hold on, hold on, let me get ready here. Okay, I like people, I like people, okay, you're a good person, you're a good person, okay. <clears throat> hey guys, how's it going? We are just awesome. Woo! Oh god, I am so, I just have so much energy, I could just... <laughs> <laughs> Doug! Uh, Come on, okay, Doc! I'm, I'm awake, I'm awake. How you guys doing? We're pretty That's good, we? We're pretty good. Awesome. All right, so let's start with a segment we like to call Ask That Character, where we ask questions to you, and you have to answer in character. All right, so we got to talk to the nostalgia critic first. If okay, but yeah, let me get into character because that's such a different <laughs> personality from my own. <clears throat> Hi, I'm in character now. <laughs> uh, okay, great. <laughs> uh, first question. What would you do if Freddy knows what you're afraid of? Like, he straps you in a chair and forces you to watch the garbage pail kids, Ella, Clockwork Orange. Uh, well, you know, I've seen that movie so many times that, you know, it still affects me, but it's not my worst nightmare. Now, if it was to somehow have sex with me, rape me, if you will, uh, in that case, yeah, that's where I would shit my pants. And then knowing the movie would take that shit and make a sequel. So, uh, yeah, that'd probably be my worst nightmare. <laughs> what weapon would you use to defend yourself from the Kurgan from Highlander? And guns won't count. The Kurgan is immortal um well can, can i use my penis sure why not <laughs> <laughs> well obviously i use my penis because that is the ultimate of weapons it has lasers uh it has um bullets but those kind of hurt though when they come out but uh, they are effective and uh yeah it's a mighty fine sword it's um you know, when it gets hard it goes down several blocks so uh yeah yeah i would definitely use that okay uh, <laughs> Uh, okay, what gifts did you get from Santa Claus and or Santa Claus if he wasn't available? You know, I'll, I'll tell you a funny story about this, actually, because my brother, uh, we live together, and he's just like, are you going to leave some eggnog for Santa Claus tonight? I'm like, are you really doing this? He's like, yes! I'm like, okay, so I, I, I left some eggnog out that night, and he gives me, like, this great big box of, like, Christmas Crunch, which is a Captain Crunch cereal that I'm, like, obsessed with. <laughs> and he bought me, like, five boxes of it. And he just says, thanks, little boy. Oh, oh, oh. So, <laughs> I, yeah, it, it wasn't a Sega Genesis, but I already have one of those, so. Awesome. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, um, well, my question's now for the Nostalgia Critic. Uh, what acre of land do you intend on conquering next? Or do you want to conquer Las Vegas instead? I'm just trying to conquer myself. <laughs> I have issues very deep inside, and they need to be they need to be addressed. But seriously, I'd like to take over Reno. Who wouldn't? <laughs> yeah, who wouldn't? <laughs> Now, we know from your backstory that uh, Daffy Duck is one of your inspirations, um, but is there anybody else that inspires you as a nostalgia critic? Nah. No. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, there's, there's a lot of people. Uh, God, it's just too many to count. It's like My Python, a lot of Daily Show guys, uh, Bill Murray. Um, I just watching whole movies. I re- realize how much I've taken from them, too. Um, yeah, I think they're sort of the biggies. Um, yeah, just sort of a combined um, mutation of those people. Just all mixed in a blender and it all comes out as the beautiful you. <laughs> no, they'd be dead. Yeah. <laughs> How many people have you put in a blender? <laughs> Too many to lose, to count. Uh, um, <laughs> damn right. Uh, which of the movies you've reviewed were you the most surprised about? Because it turned out you actually liked it. A movie I liked? Um, I'm trying to think it was actually a movie where, like, I didn't think I was going to like it, but I kind of did. You know, the, the Ninja Turtles cartoon was a little bit... It was both a little better and a little worse than I remember it, so maybe that counts. I don't know. Um, Junior was still really bad, but not as bad as we thought. It was just more boring, and those are really hard to do. It's really hard to do reviews on that. Yeah. Um, but, no, there's not a movie yet that I have across where I'm like, hey, this was good. You know, I couldn't... I can't review this. You know, they've all had their bad days to them. Yeah. Otherwise, the series wouldn't work, obviously. Because it's just awesome. And are there any movies that you've just plain refused to review? If so, what are they and why did you refuse to do them? Uh, yeah, there's a couple. I've said I refused to do the uh, Transformers cartoon movie mostly because, well, I did grow up with Transformers. I wasn't, like, a super, super fan, so... Mm-hmm. A lot of the characters, I mean, it, a lot of the characters die, and, you, you know, I don't think I'm giving away anything by saying that, but a lot of characters die in the movie, it just totally blew everybody away, and I know I wouldn't be able to represent that appropriately, so, so uh, but Lindsay did that movie already anyway, so that's no biggie. Um, there's a lot of newer shows that people keep trying to get me to do, like Sonic Underground and Digimon and stuff like that, and... The shows already are pretty hard to do because, you know, you just you have to get a whole grasp of what the series is like. You can't just go off the first few episodes. So, um, uh, yeah, so any any show I didn't grow up with, I'm probably not going to do. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, I'm sure there's others. I try to keep it between 1980 and 2000 in terms of movies and shows I review. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> what's the worst movie you've seen but you haven't reviewed? Uh, where's one I've seen but haven't reviewed? Um, well, I did, technically, I did just watch NeverEnding Story 3, and by God, that that's up there, but I'm about to review that. <laughs> and yeah, it's, uh, if people were right, it's terrible, boy, it's so bad. <laughs> um, I don't know, I can't think of too many other movies that, like, were really bad that I haven't reviewed because usually if they're that bad, I review them, so... Yeah. What was the best movie you've seen but hadn't reviewed it? I guess... I got, my, my favorite movie is Brazil. I love that movie. And I guess technically the Nostalgia Critic hasn't reviewed it. Though some people have said, why don't you review it? That'll be kind of a challenge. Which <laughs> uh, might not be a bad idea because it does fall in that time yeah. period, so... <laughs> Uh, but it, it would be tough because I love it so much. You know? I mean, I know there's problems, but it would just be really, really hard to do. So uh, uh, we'll see. Yeah. Because uh, the cinema snap reviewed uh, Caligula, which is, was his favorite uh-huh. movie. So be I was just favorite. thinking that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that, that, that movie's way too easy. <laughs> Even if it's his favorite, it's way too easy to rip apart. Uh, okay, have you uh, heard of the movie The Thomas... Magic Railroad Ugh. engine movie. Uh, was that the Alec Baldwin one? Yeah, that's yep. the one. <laughs> I haven't seen the movie, but I've seen the trailers, and the trailers alone were just so horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, just for Alec Baldwin's performance, because he looked so bad in that, <laughs> that, that might be fun to watch. Would you review that for a future episode? Possibly, because I like I said, everything else looked pretty. Yeah, but Alec Baldwin in it just looks so enjoyably terrible that yeah, <laughs> it might actually be worth looking at. All right, here's the last question. Uh, what is your opinion on the back credit card? A back credit card? A 
was the greatest you've ever seen? Ugh. Citizen Kane. What a... You know, the director Orson Welles is so pompous and so on his high horse. He thinks he knows all about journalism, but he doesn't. You know what? Yellow journalism has brought a lot to our society. Yes, all journalism is going to have this lean. You can't have it's uh, totally non-judgmental. Everybody's going to have a certain opinion. It's going to have a certain lead. And then to just call it yellow journalism? Bah! And for him to make fun of that young woman, that beautiful young woman, and then turn her into an actress. Oh, I'm sorry, an opera star. Yeah, yeah. And, and just to make fun of her like that, she was a very intelligent woman. And he should be ashamed of himself for making fun of her. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> okay. Now, this is a, an important question I think we need to ask you, Chester. How can you afford to see all these movies if you're a bum? Oh, well, you know, the good people at that guy with the glasses that come, you know, they come over and they pay for my ticket. And they actually have me watch these movies. They, uh, they don't pay me anything, really, but uh, at the same time, they do allow me inside the theater. And I like that a lot. Like I said, warm buildings I'm very much for. I'm pro inside. Yes. All right. Okay. And have you ever been given any change over the years? Oh, yes, Siver. Lots and lots of change. Uh, the only thing that really sucks is when people take change away. That's, it seems very douchey. <laughs> I, I don't like it when they do that. Who, who does that? Who takes change from a bum? <laughs> this, this other guy came by last week. I mean, he looked like a bum, but I guess he wasn't. He said his name was Wasso. Come now, what's so? I don't know, and he took my change away. Unbelievable! That guy must really need to <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. And uh, what were your plans for Christmas? How did you spend Christmas? Oh, I spent it inside a shoe. <laughs> it was nice. I, I, I call it my Christmas shoe. I, I, I decorate the laces and... Uh, Actually, no, 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 I, I remember what the Christmas tree was. It was a little, um, uh, what, what, what do you call those things? Air freshener. Yes, it was a car air freshener. I decorated the car air freshener as a Christmas tree, and uh, it, it was difficult. I would not lie, but uh, it looked beautiful, it's sitting in, in the back in the heel. It, it was really charming. <laughs> awesome. Do you have any more questions for Chester, Mike? Uh, yes, I do. Uh... Do you throw up when you watch the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? 
Uh, you, no, I didn't throw up. I, I, I put some of it in. I ate some of the vomit because, uh, you know, it was on the ground in a typical movie theater floor. Uh, but, you know, I was really hungry and hadn't eaten anything yet. So I just decided to uh, eat some of the vomit that was on the floor from some of the past people that were in the movie theater because, um, yeah, I get to meet them for a while. All right. <laughs> How high do you get? I am high on life, sir. <laughs> high on life. How dare you indicate that I use drugs? I mean, I do. But you're not supposed to indicate it. Well, I'm supposed to. Jeez. <laughs> Did you turn into an Italian there? What was that? I have no you idea. Here? You turned into a mafioso all of a sudden. <laughs> Okay, moving on. Okay, from the Saw movies, what would you do in a jigsaw trap? Eh, I'd put it together. It's a jigsaw trap. <laughs> oh, it's, never it's mind. A puzzle. Good at puzzles. Sometimes they eat the pieces, but uh, they come out eventually. <laughs> okay. So what did you get for Christmas? Uh, a jigsaw trap. <laughs> so I know about it. <laughs> what do you think of the movie movies, like Disaster Movie, Epic Movie, Meet the Spartans, Vampire Sucks, and Date Movie? <gasps> oh my god, those suck. <laughs> I'd say so. They suck monkey balls. i say so too, sir. I, I have never been. <laughs> Balls, but I'm glad you have, and you can make that comparison. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's it, Bum. Some things even a bum won't do, my friend. <laughs> that is it for you, Bum. Have thanks for talking with us. Thank you. Change. Bro. You got change. Come on, give me a break. Come on, change. All right, we're hey. going. <laughs> now we now we need that guy with the glasses for ask that guy. Yes. <laughs> okay. What's the stupidest question you've ever been asked? The one that you just asked, you stupid woman. <laughs> How did I know that was coming? <laughs> and have you ever changed that rule? I'll tell you how. Because you are a stupid woman, but even the dumbest women can get an idea about what stupid questions are coming. I'm sorry, was that a real question or were you just saying? No, that's fine. Uh, have you changed your robe at all? Have I changed my room? Well, I did have this one location in front of a bookcase, but uh, I didn't like it, so I blew it up. I have a bar now. Well, okay. And that was your. It was your uh, your robe. Have you changed that ever? Oh no, no, no! It's it's my robe. I do things in it. Horrible things. <laughs> The stains will never come out. <laughs> I like to play a game with some of my friends called Guess the Stain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How evil are you? <laughs> I'm not even going to dignify that with an answer. <laughs> I like to force them on people, especially when I strap them in chairs and shove it up their rectums. <laughs> Very interesting. Yes. I thought so. Mm-hmm. Now, can you give us your insight into what happened with you and Mati on that eventful day? With me? I'm sorry. I couldn't hear over your disturbingly thick accent. I wish it was fake. <laughs> Can you give us your insight into what happened with you and Mati on that eventful day? Ah, Mati, yes, yes, he's a 
feisty little lad, isn't he? <laughs> well, I know that you saw in the video that I started to have my way with him, but then he fought back. But um, that was just to make him happy. I computer-generated that for him. Honestly, I did him from every angle you can imagine. Any <laughs> hole that was in his body, I put it in. Good to know. All right. Uh, the last he important... a lot of art. <laughs> yeah, so... yeah, he does. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the last important question that we have is, uh, what's the most annoying song in the world? Oh, well, it goes something like this. Um, bop, 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 um, bop. Wait, no, that's not it. This is the most annoying song in the world! This is the most annoying song in the world! This is the most annoying song in the world! This is the most annoying song in the world! This is the most annoying song in the world! This is the most annoying song in the world! I'm just dying over here. Uh, that is it. For now, so have a good day. Next, we, uh... I will not. What? Excuse me? I said, I will not have a good day, but thanks anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, wait, let, let me put... Wait, will you have a bad day? No. <laughs> Mr. Mike J., will you have a bad day for me? No. It's going to be a good day. Well, then, I, uh, then I will not have a good day. You selfish bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. See ya. Goodbye. I will find you. <laughs> Moving on, we need uh, General Zod next. Yes, puny Houstonite. Ask your questions, Zod is very busy. <laughs> And you go. That's your cue. Houston, are you still there? Yes. That's your cue. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was on another planet there. <laughs> Is there any other Earth holiday that you find confusing? Oh, any Earth holiday that I do not find confusing. Let's just talk about this Halloween. It's the one day where people actually look normal. I don't understand it. Every other day you people dress in these clothes, these hideous clothes, and yet on Halloween you finally show yourselves for the monsters you truly are. Everybody should go around like that. On planet Krypton, we all wear bright white things with weird little symbols in the middle, because we are strange that way, but we like it. Halloween has no place in the People's Republic of Houston, or the Zardonian People's Republic of Houston, excuse me. I'll, I'll circle around the earth to make you forget I have to slip up. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, I get, that's that's all we got for you. So we got one question. That's all. You fail. <laughs> I will tell you what. You can make it up to me if you fail. <laughs> okay. We're not worthy. We're kneeling. That's correct. You are not. Okay. I'm out of here. Okay, I didn't actually fly. I made a flying sound effect. But still, just imagine <laughs> I flew away. Last but not least, we need Dominic. Yeah. How long have you been working at the Pixel Palace? Oh, God, it's been way too long. I've heard stories that'll just tell you white. We're already white. Whiter! Okay. <laughs> have you seen uh, Lu Lu Luigi lately? Oh, Luigi, God, that's a... That's a sad story. You know, he has brother envy like nobody's business, you know. To try the best side, too, I don't know how many people know that. Yeah. You ever wonder why you never see him and Tomb Raider in the same room? Yeah, think about it. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> uh, is there any other video game characters you have seen lately at the Pixel Palace? Oh, God, yeah. Actually, a strange one. I saw Pong. You know, the very first video game ever made. Yeah, those two sticks in the bowl, they were there. Yeah. It was really sad. People keep confusing them for sexual devices and putting them in, uh... Okay, I won't go there, but needless to say, it was very disgusting and sad. 
Mm. Great. Hmm. Yeah. I, I think the ball was used as a ball gag, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, that's God. disturbing. <laughs> Other questions, right? Who's the weirdest character you've uh, recently had at the Pixel Palace? Oh, Link. I not the same weirdest, but certainly the most annoying. That's, I don't know. Every time he's around, he's always breaking somebody's heart, whether it be a boy or a girl, mostly boys. And, ah, he's a prick. Don't like him. Don't like him at all. All right, that is all we got. He, he, just, just a side note, he, he never crosses his legs, and he really should. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's it. All right, now we got questions just for Doug in general. Woo! Let me get character. I'll break out of now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am Doug now. <laughs> Hello, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> right, now we've got some questions from one of the forum reviewers by the name That Darn Irishman. Um, his first question is, uh, how long does it usually take you to write and plan the specials you do for the anniversaries like Epic Brawl or Kick Assia? Uh, the Brawl was pretty much like it was written in a day, and it was uh, filmed in a day, pretty much. Um, I say it's not more a day and a half, because we had to shoot the outside shots uh, the next day. But uh, the kick-ass, uh, I just realized the days it takes to write it is usually the days it takes to film it, too. kick ass it took about three to four days, and uh, filming it also took four days. Wow. So uh, some sort of weird uh, connection there. I don't quite know what. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, about how long it took. Awesome. Uh, do you have any hints you might be able to give out for what's happening for the third anniversary show? Uh, we don't have it entirely fleshed out, but we've been throwing ideas around. And, um, yeah, a lot of it depends on, uh, you know, on the budget and who we're going to be able to bring out there. Once that's finalized, we'll finally be able to get a, a stronger idea about what we'll be able to do. Brilliant. <laughs> um for the anniversaries, do you know which of the reviewers you want immediately for the project's rules, or do you find out who can attend first before assigning rules? It's, I mean, some are givens. I mean, we know we're going to get Lizzie, we know we're going to get Lewis and Noah and stuff, but um, uh, for others, it's like, yeah, we wait until we see who, not only who we can bring, but who can make it sometimes. Like, like Film Brain was supposed to be at the uh, brawl, but uh, uh, something else took up his time, so... Um, yeah, so a lot of it depends on who we actually get for the anniversary. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, we know you like Spirited Away because of uh, your top 20 favorites movies list. Are there any other animated movies from Hayao Miyazaki? Yeah, sorry, I can't say this one. Uh, Hayao Miyazaki that you like? Miyazaki. I love the Scottish accent. Miyazaki, I love it. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I really like that guy's work. Um, you know, after Spirited Away, I haven't gotten too into it. I, I wasn't a huge Castle in the Sky fan. Um, terrible budget. I couldn't get that into it. Um, what, what else did he do? Uh, Mononoke was good. Um, did he do Kiki's Delivery Service? Did mm. he direct that? Not sure. Uh, not sure. Oh, that, that's good. Um, <laughs> that, that Porco Rosso was, I don't know, I've never seen a Miyazaki movie where I was just like, yeah, that was bad, there was nothing good in there, it's like, no, there's always something really good, so, anytime he does, does something, I'm always going to check it out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, which of your characters do you enjoy playing the most? Um, it's sort of, it, you know, it's a toss-up between, uh, the critic and the bum. The bum is the easiest to do for whatever reason. It's very e easy to create that, uh, you know, have that voice and create that weird personality. I could improv the best with him. Mm -hmm. uh, but the one that's the most fun to act, uh, like actually write for and create lines and most fun to watch is the critic. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, that probably is my favorite character. Woo! Uh, what, what's your favorite video game? Oh, 
Oh, boy. Um, you know, I just got that Michael Jackson game for the Wii, and I've pretty much been playing it every morning. Like, that's my new workout. Oh, so, gosh. Um, it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, so for now, probably that. But, I mean, in terms of a game where it's like, yeah, I can play it no matter what, no matter where I am, honestly, just Super Mario Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the 25th anniversary edition for the Wii on its way to me, so I can start playing it again. It's... You, you feel very nostalgic playing that. Yeah, I mean, it's just, there's nothing better than hearing, like, that music and those sound effects. And it's just a fun game, too. So, yeah. yeah I really love mm-hmm. uh, if you could be any superhero, who would you be? Uh, you mean one that exists or one that I make up? Either or. I, I would be Susie Man. <laughs> and this very thick, scuffish accent. Uh, I, 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 I would laugh at everybody's jokes, and uh, I'd be in this long delay on Skype, and people would be so amazed at me. Oh, yeah, <laughs> love me. Uh, oh, God, please do a character like that. <laughs> <laughs> At and least... My classic, Mike and son. Oh, no, Mike and Jay, boy. Uh... the young guy. Please do that, then some way I'll be on the website. <laughs> At least I'll know a little part of it's got onto it. <laughs> working on a lot. I'm going to working on it. <laughs> All right. These guys are totally destroying uh, your nationality's accent, by the way. I know I already did it with the uh, pirate character. <laughs> so oh, yeah. I continue to like a butcher the, the uh, British accent with Dominic. Okay. All right, these next question. Doug, I do a better Russian accent than my Scottish accent, so don't, wa- don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, these next questions are by a form person by the name of Movie Brat, and what's your opinion on Freddy Krueger and the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise? Like, the, I don't know if that means the original or the uh, remake. Uh, you know, I saw... It's kind of so weird. I actually didn't see the original until, like, maybe a few years ago. And I think I've seen bits and pieces of it all the time, but I never watched it all the way through. And I did, like, a few Halloweens ago. And, you know, it's, I, it's more creative than I think it is scary. And I do like watching those movies just for the creativity of them. But, I mean, they're still stupid movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think that. But, uh, and I've heard very mixed things about this new one. I guess it's, I guess it's much more grittier and uh, sort of more exploitive, and people either really like that or really hate it, so uh, I haven't seen the new one. Okay. (laughs) Uh, Are there any reviews that you're happy or not happy with? Uh, You know, I I don't watch my work that often unless it's Nostalgia Critic. I do go back and I try to watch which ones work, which ones don't, and... uh, um, they're somewhere, like, when they came out, I thought they were great. And then when I look back, I'm like, ooh, this doesn't work nearly as well as I thought. But the ones that, uh, the, the two that really hold up, the two that I think are, like, it's, are my favorites, um, is the, uh, the the Tom and Jerry movie, that I think <laughs> is really funny, and yeah. the uh, Casper movie review. Oh, yeah. I, I, I really like those two. Those hold up really. And actually, I really like the Animaniacs tribute, too. I'm really happy how that turned out. Mm-hmm. And there was silence. Easy. Yeah. Um, just a just a quick add-in. Um, were those your your absolute favorite reviews, Doug, for Nostalgia Critic? Yeah, I think those are my favorite. I have to I have to say mine that I've watched about a, about a dozen times is the Sonic the Hedgehog one. Absolutely love that. <laughs> You know, I finally caved in and did that one because so many people were asking me to do it. And I cannot believe how successful that is. I think that's like the second or third most watched, and I just I'm really blown away by that. Every time I look at the numbers, I see that one just keeps growing and growing. That it, Sonic just must have really hit a chord with a lot of people on that show. Must have really hit a chord. So um, yeah, I'm glad people like it. I'm glad I could talk about the uh, Sad AM show. Uh, as well, glad you did like that show. Yeah, oh, I, I loved it. 
I was that's the sh that's the episode I've been in hysterics the most, just because of your reaction to the the pumpkin appearing on this one. What pumpkin? What what pumpkin? <laughs> what what? <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> it's just hysterical. A lucky one. Hey, but pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, the most underrated critic episode would have to be the Halloween special of 08, the Teddy Ruxpin episode. Oh, God. Like, we had another one surprise, not as many. We did put it on the DVD, but not that many people. Uh, not a lot of people reference that or watch it that much. And, again, I'm just really, I'm like, huh, really? Okay. I know. You know. I watch it all the time on the DVD. I just, I, it's my favorite. It's like how it's amazing of what you did with that. Oh, it's just brilliant. Yeah, I, I really like that one, too, but for whatever reason, it doesn't uh, doesn't catch on as well as the other reviews. So, oh, well. Please, please. Yeah. All right. Uh, some more questions from Movie Brat. Which comedians do you admire? Uh, I, th I think I sort of went over there, but uh, I didn't go into the specifics. Um, like, on The Daily Show, The Daily Show people, I really like John Stewart. I like Stephen Colbert and Louis Black. Um... Who else? Who else? I, I like I said, Bill Murray. I'm a big fan of. Um, who else? I think Jim Gaffigan is his name. Does he do the bacon routine? Yeah, I think he really, really uh, makes me laugh. Um, old classics like you know Richard Pryor's great, George Carlin's great. Um, and like I said, all the My Python crew I really adore. So yeah, I, I think that's a good count over there. Mhm. Mm awesome. Now, would you ever jump at the chance of starting in an independent or Hollywood film? If somebody asks, you know, I'll do it. I'm not, like, actively searching for it. Um, originally, I wanted to go into, like, whatever, making Hollywood movies and stuff like that. But the more I sort of grew up, the more I sort of changed. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to like that environment. I'm not going to like everybody sort of touching and changing your work and all the pressure and stuff like that. So I decided to get out of it. And it, it's nice being online and working for the people I work for because they pretty much just let me do whatever I want. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, if somebody asked me, I'd be more than happy. I, I did a commercial for uh, uh, PBS's Make Them Laugh, which is actually based on the 50 impressions in 50 seconds. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just asked me, and they put me out there, shot it real quick, and that was it. And, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, which movie was the least painful for you to review for a Nostalgia Critic episode? Least painful? Uh, that, that's tough because a lot of these, it has to be something you really enjoy. So to be honest, The Room would probably be up there because that was just so much fun. <laughs> um, I, I think Book was a lot of fun. Uh, those are the two that are jumping to mind. I just remember we had a real fun time watching those and making jokes and stuff like that. Yeah. Awesome. And we've got a couple of questions from another forum reviewer by the name of Detroit. And his first one is, if Team TGWTG was a classic SNL, which actor would you say you were? If I was one of the classic SNL guys, um, even though it's funny because I, I don't like his work much now, but if I, if I had to choose someone, I was like, yeah, you know, like a toss-up between Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray, I like, <laughs> um, I, I like the roles they played on SNL. I like Bill Murray because he didn't do, do that much of a variation. He was always just sort of himself, and I think people really like that because they liked who that was. And I, I did like Aykroyd because he could just do these over-the-top imitations and, Every time he was on, he was always a character, you know, which is very enjoyable. So it was a real good outlet. Uh, mm -hmm. for an actor, I think. Yeah. Two of the greats. You will be up there with them on that program. Uh, oh, for sure. Uh, oh, yes. And which Hollywood director would you most like to meme horribly? Well, most like to meme? Most like to meme. Kill, destroy. Maybe. Um. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. That's tough. Well, I mean, first of all, I mean, in my honest opinion, it's like whatever. Directors make movies, they keep making bad movies. 
whatever. They're doing what they want to do, and I, I got respect. That. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm very much of that opinion. But uh, in terms of which films do I just constantly um, I really get annoyed. Those guys that do, like, Independence Day in 2012, and so I really hate, I learned to hate those movies more and more. Yeah. Um, because they're just so, I don't know, they, they, they're not, they're not, usually not funny enough to be, they're not bad enough to be funny, and they're not, you know, good enough to be entertaining. They're sort of that very ugly, they just get worse as they come out, and they really annoy me. Though I did see 2012, apparently a lot of people say it's so bad, it's fun. So yeah. maybe I should check that out. Yeah. Just to add in while you're talking about that, my debut review on uh, the forums as my character, the blockbuster chick, was 2012. Mm. Just to just to put out there, you know, it's it's there. You don't have to watch the film because it's shit. Uh, you just watch the review. <laughs> Oh, oh, you know what? Actually, there is one director where, for all I know, he could be a nice guy, but every time I see him on an interview, I always want to punch him. He's this independent director, but he always drives me nuts. I don't remember his name, but I know he directed a movie called Broken Flowers. It was like this, this movie with Bill Murray, and every time I see this guy on an interview, he's talking about his art and his pain and what he wants to convey, and just artist, artist, and I really annoys me. Every time I see him, I want to deck him. So, uh, <laughs> for all I know, maybe he's a very nice guy, but every time I do see him on an interview, yeah. he annoys me. So, I don't know. Look up the director of Broken Flowers. That's a good guy. He annoys me. Okay. Uh, these next questions are by uh, Wojo. Uh, the first question is, were there any show ideas you had but never completed them? Well, I think you all recall Melvin. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, that was the brother of the Joker that's now declared, like, I think pretty much the worst sketch I've ever done on uh, on the website. And it is like, I don't think it's the worst, but it's not very good. I'll acknowledge it. it's not very good. I was just sort of looking for a new character to do that could, you know, fit in the, uh, you know, in the realms of getting something out fast, like could get out more material, but still be funny. And, yeah, this just, nobody laughed at nobobody enjoyed it. Uh, Emo Jones was another one where even after I did the first episode, I'm just like, yeah, this is only going to be one episode, isn't it? I don't have enough material for this. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the, the, those two uh, really crashed and burned, and probably rightfully so. They weren't that good. Uh, here's a really dumb question, I would say. Is this your day job? Yeah, it is. This is what I do for a living, pretty much. Uh, if... If this wasn't my day job, I would not be able to get out as many videos as I do. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, these uh, next questions that I came up with. What kind of music do you listen to? Uh, you know, I don't listen to much anymore. And I, and all the music I listen to is like nostalgia music now, like, oh, the good old days, you know, like, whatever, Metallica, Smashing Pumpkins, and stuff like that, but I do like, uh, I like a lot of movie soundtracks, actually, you know, and I like classical music, too, um, there's one or two musicals in there, but they're not that many, um, it's just sort of a grab bag of stuff, I don't really listen to country, I don't listen to much rap, um, yeah, that's, it's, I think anything but country and rap, I don't hate them, they're just not for me. Yeah, mm-hmm. but is there a... Specified favorite band or musician do you listen to? Uh, God, I mean, there's, I can't really pick one. I will say, in terms of movie soundtracks, I'm really in love with uh, Hans Zimmer right now. Like, he's, mm-hmm. every time I see, uh, like, like I see his name attached to a movie, it's like, ooh, this music's going to rock. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> um, so, but aside from that, yeah, there's nobody where I'm just like, yeah, this person was a king, a god, or whatever, even though I'm sure many of them are, I just, I, I never had that big a connection. Okay. Uh, what would you say is your favorite song that you like to listen to constantly? Uh, I'm going to sound really corny, but I really like, uh, the Oh, what a wonderful world. <laughs> I know that is so corny, but, you know, the, the original by uh, Armstrong, and 
I just, it just always puts me in a good mood. I just always relax every time I hear it. I think, again, it's so cliche, and I think that's like, where some sort of, all these lists always name it, like the greatest song ever written, and it's just like, yeah, I, I really like it. I can't help it, so I really like that song. Yeah, that's good cool. choice. Good choice. Susie, Susie, would you like to ask some of my questions to him? I would like to ask some of your questions, Mike, to Doug. Um, <laughs> if you could travel back in time, where would you go and why? God, that's a lovely question. Um, you know, I think I travel back to Tuesday because I stepped on a tack and it really hurt. I might just say, hey, don't step on a tack. Like, okay, I travel back in time. I'd be like, later. And I'd be like, so confused. Uh, that was... And then somehow doing that would blow up. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you were handcuffed to anybody from that guy with the glasses and or blistered thumbs, who would it be and why? I can't, I can tell you a bunch of people I wouldn't want to be handcuffed to. <laughs> um, I wouldn't want to be handcuffed to. It's, it's just a varying degrees of who I wouldn't want to be handcuffed to. <laughs> think of anyone that's just like, oh, yeah, I want to be with this person. Uh, let me think, Lindsay, because she'd make really good conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't ask why I asked it. It's just it's just something I came up with. No, it is funny just because I immediately think of jokes, and it's like, wait, no, it's who would I want to be handled with? I'm like, God, I can't, I can't work with this. It's who do I not want to be handled with? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Now, is uh, there anybody on that guy with the glasses that you haven't collaborated yet for a review with that you want to collaborate for a future review? Uh, maybe somewhere down the line I'll get uh, Phelous in there. I think that might be fun. I really like his delivery. Um, aside from that, you know, like nobody's like jumping up like, hey, I gotta really do a crossover uh, with them. Um, I would try to see if they'll mix well with the character, with the critic character. And uh, I, I think that, uh, that would be interesting if we did a crossover. So maybe with Phelous. Mm -hmm. well, I, love, right. I, I love the episode you did with uh, the cinema snob. That, yeah, was Leprechaun. It, that was a great yeah, episode. Yeah, Leprechaun. Because it just, that yeah. free was, was stuck in my head for yeah. like, like a couple of weeks. Ago. Fuck you, yeah. Leprechaun! Arms. He only lives like a few hours away. That's why he's in so many videos, because he's just so completely Yeah. Can you get him that for us? Awesome. We're trying to get hold of him. Yeah, we're trying to get a hold of him. Trying to contact Brad for days now, even months. Keep, well, he's so keep in mind, this guy has this guy for like most of his life hasn't had us. Uh, cell phone. He just got a cell phone recently. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just... just 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 send out like smoke signals. You'll get them eventually. <laughs> hey, we've been pl we've pl been planning this interview with him for since October, and it's December now, so it's, it's outrageous. Uh -huh. I beat him. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like so... well, we did actually manage uh, to get the interview, but your recording equipment sucked, so <laughs> hence yeah, my problem there. Yeah, I had problems with my recording equipment to begin with, so uh, we had an inter the interview with them, but it just didn't turn out right, so Susie had to do all the recording for us, that's why we're doing it so well now. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Major sidetrack. <clears throat> Moving on, as you mentioned before, with uh, Melvin and uh, Emo Jones being the shows that didn't carry on, how did you come up with those characters? to begin with? Uh, it's always just trying to think of something that, you know, because I got to turn out three videos a week. Obviously, Nostalgia Critics got to take up most of the time. And I'm just trying to find something I can do that's funny, but I can also do really quick uh, so it doesn't take away too much from the Nostalgia Critic. And, yeah, well, and with Melvin, I didn't know about uh, Dr. Horrible sing-along blog, which... As soon as somebody told me about that, I'm like, okay, crap. This is not only exactly what I'm doing, but it's a million times better. Um, and with Emo Jones, I mean, I don't know. You always sort of get this image in your head. It's like, ooh, this could have possibilities. But then you sort of realize, 
uh, it's sort of beyond what you're good at. Like, imagine not good at just one-liners, which is what Emo Jones was supposed to be, and I wanted to see if I could do it, and really I couldn't. So, yeah, I dropped that pretty quick. Okay, that makes sense. Yes. And then we have a couple of questions by the Hardcore Kid. Uh, the first one, if you were to have sex with a cartoon character, which character would that be? Oh, Jessica Rabbit, man. That's, yeah. That's, that, that, that woman can't exist if she's that hot. <laughs> Yowza. I, I don't care if she doesn't have a nose. She's still a hottie. <laughs> what is your thought on the that guy, Encyclopedia Dramatica page? Have you seen it? Have you read it? <laughs> I think I saw it once, like, before it got, like, super, super nasty. I, I haven't seen it. I just hear it's like, whatever, it's like Encyclopedia like Jamaica. They, they, I guess the joke is, like, they try to get as nasty and cruel as they can. So, you know, I I haven't looked at it. It just seems like the same joke over and over. But maybe it's funny. I don't know. Okay. Uh, these next questions are by Susie, of course. Eee. Uh, can can you uh, tell us any future plans for that guy with the glasses dot com? Uh, you know we got Mr. Thumbs out there, and we're pretty much hoping to just keep expanding and you know sort of like that. Like we're we're looking to probably do Ink Reality next, uh, which is going to be very uh, sort of artsy and comic related, uh, you know, and artwork. Um, and really, that's always sort of the, the goal of Channel Awesome is to just sort of keep branching out of websites and keep bringing talent to it, uh, you know, mostly video review oriented. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much in the, you know, sort of the long-term future we're going to keep uh, heading for. All right. Uh, are there any new reviewers that you've seen that you would love to be on the site? Um... You know, we're pretty stocked. <laughs> I mean, we're really filled. Actually, I felt really bad because, you know, we schedule everything uh, ahead of time. And I was actually going to schedule for January, and everything was already booked up. And I felt so bad because it's like, God, that means I'm going to have to bump people here. I got bump people back all because I didn't get to it in time. And, uh, I mean, that's an entire month that's already filled. You know, we, we have seven videos a day now, and they're all filled. Uh, wow. for January. I actually had to go two months ahead uh, j just so I can have a spot for myself. <laughs> you know, <laughs> for, for the guy in charge of the site. So, yeah, it's, uh, we're, we're definitely not, unless we see someone that just, like, blows our socks off, we're not actively looking. Uh, we do take some people that are pretty good, and we sort of put them on the back burner, like, hey, if something opens up, we'll, we'll try it. But, uh, yeah, like I said, we're not looking as actively as we used to, because we're pretty, we're pretty filled up. Okay. Uh, are there any new characters that we could maybe see in the future? Uh, the pirate I would like to flesh out more. Everybody I show the pirate to, it's interesting because, I mean, some people really, really like it, but uh, most people, they find one thing, one aspect they really like, and they want to see more. Like, they either want to see more of the insults, or another person wants to see more Bloodbeard Joe, or another person will want more of the technicals about how to be a pirate and stuff. So it's, I like that. I like that it sort of has an aspect uh, that, you know, everyone can get something from this. So I, I like that. I would like to flesh that out more. <laughs> oh, okay. Bloodbeard Pirate! Uh. <laughs> random! <laughs> we love random on here! <laughs> We're pure random. <laughs> uh, do you at the Actually, that's always the thing. People don't know what to call that pirate character. They never know what to call him. So, like, is it Blackbeard or Howard? I think I'm just calling him. Uh, no, no, not Black. Uh, the Black Dog Bill or Howard. I'm just. I just call him the pirate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you ever visited that guy at the glasses forums? Like, I, you know, sometimes I, do, I don't have much time, but I do visit, like, for the Nostalgia Critic uh, reviews, I do sometimes take a look and see what they're saying, because I do like it. If I want very quick, fast comments, I can go to the actual video page, or even if they post on YouTube, I can look real quick. But if I want sometimes more in-depth 
look. I'll take a look at their page as well. Uh, so yeah, I, I do take a look sometimes. Okay. I just I noticed that you just haven't just posted anything. You just look on there, and that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. I, I, if I was gonna post, I feel bad if I post because then it's like anyone asks me a question, it's like, well, why are you in? his and not mine and blah blah it's just I'm not going to have time I don't really have time now to answer them either so you know I look them over okay Susan do you got any leftover questions for him I do indeed I always do <laughs> Um, now, apart from Mike Nelson from Mystery Science Theatre 3000 fame <laughs> is there any other of your heroes that you're dying to collaborate or meet with You know, that's the one actually I forgot to mention in the uh, inspirations, by the way. I forgot to mention the Mystery of Science Theater people. They're, of course, huge inspiration. Yeah. Um, anyone else I'd like to collaborate with? I. It was really awesome to talk to the Animaniacs people, because those really were kind of like my heroes growing up. Especially Sherry Stoner, because like, I loved that character. Mm -hmm. She pretty much was that character, so that, that was really cool. Um... Is anyone else? I wouldn't mind talking to the Batman animated series people. Um, we, we haven't tried that hard to get interviews, um, but uh, that that might be something like you know we were doing trivia or something like that. I'd love to talk to those people. Uh, top of my head, I can't think of anyone else. I'm sure, like if anyone's just like, hey, hey let's talk or something like that. It's like I'd be totally for it. Um, but yeah, top of my head, those are the only people that are really like, mm -hmm. you know jumping the mind. I wouldn't mind talking to them. Yeah. Wow. Uh, since it's so obvious you have the best job in the world, what's the worst job you've ever had? Well, did you ever see the uh, How to Quit Your Job video I did? That's actually the first video I ever did. Oh, um, uh -huh. Yeah, job had to be pretty bad in order for me to do that. <laughs> uh, uh, no, actually, no, the worst job I ever had was... Uh, it was very brief. I think it was like a week, and I quit. I did so much. It was like a telemarketing job, and that really sucked. And what? But the funny thing is that I think I heard like an interview from Johnny Depp, how I guess he had the same job at some point, and he started doing various characters and voices just to mix it up a bit. I'm just like, damn it! I should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> God, you could have had the the bomb on the phone to them, like, oh my God, this is the greatest yeah. telephone conversation I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Change, teacher. Hey, pal, need some change, or I'll give you my address. <laughs> it's a box of the second quarter. I love that character. Um, now, my next question. I love the bloopers segments uh, on both the That Guy with the Glasses Volume 1 and Kikassia DVDs. Could we possibly see some more or behind-the-scenes stuff in the future on the website, or is uh, this to follow on future DVD releases? Uh, well, definitely. Every time we do an anniversary thing, we'll always have a ton of behind-the-scenes stuff. Um, I did. I did just do the the Christmas special bloopers. Uh, those yeah. are out, and I am gonna do. I'll probably do a few more commentaries in the next week or two because I'm actually I'm going to Vegas for the um, Mashable Awards. I don't know if that's if that's how you mm -hmm. say it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'll probably be doing some commentaries there too. But uh, yeah, anytime I only do bloopers if there's like a lot of them and the. The Christmas special, I mean, just everybody was ha having some really good bloopers. I'm like, okay, i, I got to put these together. These are too funny. Um, so, yeah, you'll definitely see, uh, in terms of behind-the-scenes stuff, probably more of the third-year anniversary, you'll see even more behind-the-scenes stuff. Uh, aside from that, I think it's mostly going to be, like, bloopers and commentaries, but people seem to like those. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. And um, can you tell us the inspiration for each of your characters? Uh, I mean, the I think most people know that's like, you know, it's very Daffy Duck-ish, mm -hmm. uh, just angry per se. You know, the losers are always much more fun to play. The losers, the villains, anything negative, is, you know, you can work so much off of. Yeah. Um, the bump really was just a voice I did on the Cloverfield review, and I liked it so much. I'm just like, i got to make a character out of this. Let me say, sounds like a bump. Okay, I'll make him a bump. I'm not doing current movies. He'll, he'll do current movie reviews. Mm -hmm. Just step from there. Ask that guy, literally, uh, our CEO, Mike Mashad, just called up 
and said, you know, F Good Ninja is pretty popular. You ask that guy, click. It's like, that was it. So I'm like, <laughs> what, would, what would that guy with the glasses do? Well, he, he'd have a robe, he'd have a pipe, and he would get every single question wrong. But <laughs> because he looked so sophisticated, it seemed like, you know, it, it would sound right. Like, it sounded like the correct one, you know, because he looked so fancy. And just from that, he turned into the most horrifying creature sure on earth so i don't know how that's done i just turn my brain off whenever i do that <laughs> um, I, the pirate really uh the pirate character really when we moved uh that background was just there downstairs and we loved it i'm just like we, we gotta do something with this background i'm like it, it looks sort of like a pirate bar you know we'll just stem from that um and who else dominic was just more a character that uh I just want something where the material was funny, not as much the character. I want to do something with video games. So, uh, yeah, so that's a very basic rundown. Awesome. And the General Zod, where did General Zod come from? That was one time, well, this is like early college, and I tried once growing out my beard a little more, like, you know, so that I connected on the side. And when I got out, the shower, I had my hair slipped back, and I took a look, and I just said, I look like Zod. One of these days, I have to do something where I look like Zod. <laughs> and the, finally, I was trying to think of something, you know, over Christmas, give, uh, you know, a little extra to people. And I thought, well, this would be fun. I can finally do, you know, the general Zod idea and have not talk about Christmas. So, yeah, I mean, just very basic. It's a lot of, very easy to write for. I think my brother did most of the writing for that, because he... <laughs> for whatever reason, he can really write well for people who want to take over the world, so... <laughs> of course! <laughs> of course! <laughs> <laughs> and I've just got a, a few more questions for you, Doug. Uh, not sure who this one's from, um, but here we go. What made you want to start the whole that guy with the glasses thing and reviewing stuff? What made you want to start it? Um, yeah. It just started as a hobby, pretty much, uh, on YouTube. I started with these five-second movies, and those really caught on. And I'm just like, oh, I have a lot of people watching me. I wonder if, like, I could still be fine, like, actually perform and write and stuff like that. So I tried Sketch. I started doing Nostalgia Critic. That really started to catch on. Uh, but it was still, like, once a month I was doing a video. I mean, I wasn't that consistent. And I kept getting kicked off of YouTube over and over for copyright infringement. And finally, a uh, friend of a friend uh, came up to me. This was Mike Michaud. He was going to be the future CEO of Channel Awesome. And he says, I'm putting this company together. I think it would be a great you know, sort of way to get it going, and, and we can make it where you can get paid for this. I'm like, no, you can't. I mean, no, nobody's making money on the Internet. And this was back when, like, nobody was. And he's like, dude, give me, give me time. I'll show you. I'll put the website together. I'll, I'll make this happen. And I was like, oh, okay. And Sure enough, he made it happen. He was the guy who came up with the idea to do the community and bring other people on board, uh, other reviewers, and just keep spanning it out. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of really big, good ideas, like the yearly anniversary. That's his idea, too, to fly everybody out and, uh, you know, always do something and do crossovers. I mean, so he, he's definitely the, uh, the idea guy. He comes up with the good uh, business angles, and, and he figured out how to turn this into money because if not, I mean, it's horrible to say I would not do it as much because you know I I need to eat. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I would still have to have a. Uh, okay. okay then, uh, there's a couple more question, questions left. Uh, you recently went to uh, DaishoCon last month. That was in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. There was a skit you did before that guy with the glasses Q and A panel when you impersonated Lankara. Did you? come up with that on the fly, or did you you and uh, Linkara plan that out ahead of time? He, he's actually the one that came up with that idea. If anyone's thinking, like, oh, how could you be so mean? It's like, no, he came up with it. He was just like, <laughs> you know, I have this Green Ranger outfit, and I have this great idea. I'll come in late, and you're making fun of me, and then I'll take off the Green Ranger and, and, and show that's me. And I'm just like, okay. And, so he, and he happened to leave his coat and uh, jacket there. And, yeah, I just put it on, you know, started talking like this. Hi, everybody. <laughs> and people really loved it. They got a big laugh out of it. Lewis was looking, you know, like, upset. 
obsessively defined a video of it because he wants to know what I said about him. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, yeah, it's, uh, that, that was his idea, and it turned out really, really It is on YouTube. Yeah, and I was the first one that actually posted that video on YouTube, and I, and I even showed it to him. And I was like, here, check it out. And he said, all right, thanks. Oh, there you go. Uh, oh, what's the story behind the reposting of your review of The Room? Uh, the short version of it is that Tommy Wiseau, or rather, what was it, was it John from TheRoomMovie.com, I think. Um, yeah, I think it was. Anyway, it's pretty much Tommy was so because his accent comes through the email. Uh, uh, pretty much was telling us, ah, copyright, you bad, dig it down, ha, 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 what a funny story. And <laughs> so we sort of freaked out, and we weren't sure if he's really going to do this or not. So to be safe, we took it down, and we started talking to a lawyer saying, do we have the law on our side? And they're like, yeah, you do. Here, I'll, I'll write him a letter explaining how fair use works, and then just put it back up. <laughs> been busy with so much other stuff that we sort of kept, you know, postponing it and postponing it, and finally we got back to uh, putting it back up. Awesome. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite uh, episodes of the Nostalgia Crack is the Saved by the Bell episode. <clears throat> There's one thing you didn't talk about in that episode. It's the Tory paradox, where the new character came in at, towards the end of the season. I honestly don't remember that. I don't remember the Tory character. See, you didn't actually watch the last seasons because towards the end of Stay by the Bell, they added a new character named Tory, and uh, Kelly and Jesse just like like disappeared, and they're in selected episodes. Well, was this the one where they're like they're working a summer job at a beach or something? No, that that's. Uh, that's something different. That's when they went to the beach resort to work. This was in, like, in season five. Uh, yeah, I, I must have missed that because, yeah, I totally don't remember uh, uh, Tori character. I must have completely missed that. <laughs> because I have all the season's DVDs of Saved by the Bell. I'm a huge fan. And when I watched it, I was like, you forgot Tori. You forgot season five of the whole Saved by the Bell. Oh no! Yeah, you're. I could care. I could barely care. I could barely care about Kelly or Jesse. Okay, my eye was on Lisa. That was the hottie. That was the one. It's like I I admire Street for going after her because she she was the looker in my opinion. Really? I'm surprised yeah, to hear that. that. My eye, uh, I'm so, I, I went towards like Kelly and Jesse because they were pretty hot myself. Yeah, that was, Jesse, Jesse was never, I mean, I think maybe she is good. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, she's ugly. I mean, she's probably okay looking. It's just the character itself. Yeah, I mean, it was, yeah, the character is always, yeah. Hey, yeah, you always want to talk to her, but. Yeah. <laughs> I think you were just oh, going I, for a douchey douche there, uh, character there, Mike. Just going, no! You forgot this! <laughs> Why did you forget this? Yeah. You yeah. just <laughs> mentioned the Tory character, you stupid bag of horse ass. <laughs> oh, and then aside from that, there's a there was a spinoff called uh, Say by the Bell, uh, the college years when they went to college. Yeah, fuck some... that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Besides that, the last question we're to ask you is at some point you were going to review uh, Matilda, then you took it off the list, and people were like, where's Matilda, where's Matilda, what's the story behind that? Everyone was like, I've seen that movie, I hate that movie, I think it's a terrible, dark, mean, not charming movie, and people really like it, and and I guess Lewis uh, Linkara got in contact with me, he's like, just Word of advice, you can do whatever you want, but people will kill you if you rip apart Matilda. And sure enough, I was getting all these emails, don't do Matilda, it's, it's wonderful, it's a great movie, blah, blah, blah. So it, it must have grabbed something with people, and I know if I did it, I would not be able to find anything good about it. So I, I took it off, just not, just really, it didn't seem like there was any views there. It just seemed like people get really pissed off and were just opening a can of worms. So I, I took it down, but... Yeah, personally, I really hate that movie. Yeah, much as me. You know, if you like it, great. Yeah. Uh, all right, I guess I'm going to go with one more here before we go to the next segment. 
Uh, another favorite of my episode, uh, your episodes, is uh, Moonwalker with Michael Jackson. <laughs> uh, are you interested in reviewing like other music-related movies, like music videos, maybe? Like there's. Uh, you, you know, we we got Todd in the shadows uh, doing a lot of the music videos, and uh, and we got the rapper critic too, and. Um, I, I don't think I'd be as good, really, because that was sort of a half movie, half music video. You know, Michael Jackson, you know, is just such an easy target. Mm -hmm. um, I thought it was worth addressing. And, again, everybody was just requesting it. They were saying, do Moonwalker, do Moonwalker. I said, okay, enough people really want me to do it, so I might as well tackle it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but doing something like, whatever, The Wall or something like that. Yeah, The Wall. I, I don't think that'd be smart because it's um, it's sort of its own entity already, and it's it's sort of meant to be abstract and artsy, and I, I can't find a ton to make fun of it for, especially because I kind of like the movie anyway. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm not leaning. I mean, it's pretentious. Don't get me wrong, but uh, <laughs> but I, I do like how creative it is. I like the music. So, um, yeah, I mean, pr probably not. Top of my head, I can't think of any I'll be doing. Okay, I just all right. Uh... There's one little segment we got for you. It's a challenge for you. We got a challenge for you. The challenge is how many impressions can you do in three minutes? Oh, jeez. Right? Can you just play the 50 impressions in 50 seconds? Just, you know, that'll be like the first minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. So, so, uh,. I'm going. I got a stopwatch here, so I'll time for three minutes at least. So we are going to start now. Yeah, let's do a little Brando. Oh, so I come up and contend. I come up and contend. What the hell? Eh? Uh, a little Jimmy Stewart. Oh, I don't know. It's in his house and that guy's house, and I'll get you the moon. Um, let's see, a little Jerry Lewis. Lady, oh, with the thing and the jump and the wahive. Oh, my, my, little Jim Carrey. Oh, righty then. That's all I can do with him. A little Jack for you here. Jack, you know, Hillary Clinton vote for her. I just cinema snap, too. Uh, little George C. Scott, it is not in the file. It's not. Um, can I do cartoon characters? I can do little Mr. Burns for you. He's smooth as fire, that man. <laughs> um... <laughs> Little Krusty the Clown, hey, hey! Actually, that one's bad. My little Mick Jagger for you. Yes, my little trying to eat myself for you. The <sighs> little Bill Cosby. Oh, the thing with the TV and the Osbournes is that they're swearing all the time, like little fuckers. Little Roll Julia for you, of course. General Zod, of course. Always get the Zod. You will kneel before me! First you, and then one day, your ass! Maybe a little Tom Cruise for you. You've never seen me very upset. <laughs> Corey Linkara, I can always do a little Linkara for you. Yeah, comics. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a little Bayless for you. He always has that whispery voice, and I die a lot. Uh, little William Shatner. Yes, his pauses are very quick. <laughs> uh, uh, Jeff Goldblum, uh, here, uh, yeah, but, but, have you considered, uh, the fact that, um, oh, 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 yes, Pavarotti, <laughs> <Right there>. <laughs> <laughs> little Sean Connery for you, oh, don't make me smack you, that's what I do. Little Pierce Brosnan, yes, yes, you, you like the bond, yes, yes. Oh, oh, my, my voice is caressing you, you know you love it. Oh, yes, yes, so quiet. Mm. Little, little, little Elijah Wood, little Elijah Wood, oh, Sam. Sam, touch me lower, yes, ooh. You like that, Sam, don't you? Yes, you're a naughty little bitch, oh, yes. <laughs> um, time's up. Oh, all right. Uh, that was awesome. I guess. I, I hope that was enough. I, I don't think that was 50, but... Susie, do you have any last-minute questions for Doug? Can I come on the Off website? Your head? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me see here. No! <laughs> You're a dirty Scott. You switch clothes. The, the, the men wear the skirts and the women wear pants. It's crazy. It's totally crazy. Oh... Uh, uh, 
actually, I do have one question for Chester A. Bum once again. Yeah. Uh, what, what did you think of this podcast? It was the greatest podcast I've ever seen in my life or heard. I mean, hey, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> I just, this was a podcast? I thought I was just hearing voices in my head again. Oh, that's very relieving. Do you have a girlfriend? Oh, do I have a girlfriend? Uh, yes, she's a wonderful little rat named Sabrina. <laughs> I, I'm not being mean, she's literally a rat. <laughs> How did you meet? She's too high maintenance, though. She's way too high maintenance, though. I, I'm going to call it up. Oh, I'm trying to me. What is it with rats and trying to change men? I don't get it. I just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that is pretty much it. That's it for this interview with the one and only Doug Walker. Woo! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> yes. Alright, I'm Mike, and that I'm... was Susie. Yay! This has been Attack of the Awesome. Have a epic new year, and we'll see you next year. Awesome! Not for me. I'm in Chicago. It's snowy as hell. <laughs> you kidding me? I'm in Wisconsin. It snows all the time. Okay, you win. <laughs> and it's just dull as hell here. <laughs> we don't have snow. It all yeah. went away and it's still gray what? and blah. It's horrible. <laughs> Turn off my cell phone here because we don't want that interrupting. No. <laughs> Can you see him doing a goddamn interview here? Jeez. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'm a dude. <laughs> you are uh, not, sir. No way. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're not. Douche walker. <laughs> <laughs> that was my douchey laugh, by the way. You'll, you'll need to get used to that, Doug. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, it's the nostalgia critic it's video. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I've got everything scripted out, but I'll start it off. I'll introduce us, and then you, and then we'll just go to our next segment. Awesome. 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 <laughs> all right. <clears throat> all right. I always yeah. gotta get myself ready. <sighs> okay. And breathe. <laughs> Got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. The next question: Have you have you seen uh, Die Another Day? What's it called? The Die Another Day. It's Dino not... Dave? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Die Another Day. The James Bond film. Oh. Die another day. No, I have not. I I, uh, I heard the horrible Madonna song though, and uh, yeah, that pretty much ruined the movie for me. So I couldn't get past the opening credits. <laughs> okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't really help. So. No. Uh, <clears throat> Speaking of which, just to interrupt, sorry, I found the greatest song in the world for you, Chester. I think I'd like to play it for you now, if you'd like to hear it. Oh, okay. I love to hear the greatest song in the world. Okay. Get a job, you bum 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 bum. Money oh don't grow God, on trees, song. you bum 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 bum. Greatest salad I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Sorry, Chester. Okay. Uh, Chester, you're gonna have to get back to me. Is there any movie that you haven't thought was the greatest you've ever seen? Citizen Kane. <laughs> By, yeah, talk about talk about a director who is just 
so pompous and thought he was all dead, and he just wasn't, you know, uh, to go after, uh, you, you know, he's originally called the American. That would have been a better title because, you know, he's trying to capture the essence of the American, but instead he goes for a Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane, yeah! And, and the way he makes fun of that actress, you know, in this one, oh, I'm sorry, it's an opera singer in this one. She was a very intelligent woman, and people forget this. And she was ridiculed at that time, and just, oh, yeah. Makes me sick. <laughs> Shame on you, Orson Welles. Hang on, I think we've got to stop recording because Pamela just went a bit funny. Hang on a second. We just went to be funny. Attack of the spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> With onions. Uh. I, yeah. We can spend forever quoting live. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we got Susie and I are just huge fans. Oh, we could go hours and hours. Pumpkin? What? Uh, what? So much. I... Pumpkin? What? <laughs> change! <laughs> you got change. <laughs> you got change for the love of God! Any change for the new year? <laughs> <sighs> well, that's it. I will try to awesome. edit, edit this tonight. No, no, try. You will edit this tonight, man. You will. Oh. I will come round your house and kick your ass. Okay, so you say that again. You're in Scotland. I'm in Wisconsin. Think of the math. You think that stops me? Oh, no. Uh, awesome. Well, thanks a lot, guys. I got to get to work here, and my voice is pretty hoarse anyway. So yep. um, thanks so much again, and, uh, yeah, look forward. Just send me a link when it's uh, all put together. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks for your time, right, Take Dad. care, guys. See ya. A lot of fun. Bye. 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 <sighs> <laughs> it was awesome.